Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic, and the beginning of a new journey here on a Blood Elf Warlock. We are going to get right into the questing here on Sunstrider Island. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for being here. You might find that I play WoW a little bit differently than other people on the internet, and that is that I just like to have a relaxing time questing, leveling, exploring the world that we love. And that's what we'll be doing here today. So thank you for joining me. We are going after some mana worms. We have Shadow Bolt. Sends a shadow we bolt at the enemy, causing 12 to 16 shadow damage. We have Demon Skin. We want to put that up on ourselves. And we have Arcane Torrent, which silences all enemies and restores 6% of our mana. Pretty useful for a caster. Let's do a couple of housekeeping things here. Ah, that's right. They put the new options into Wrath of the Lich King. Absolutely awesome. Which means that we don't know where anything is. So we have to search. We need auto loot on. It says it's on, but it's not. And we need a couple more action bars. We need to always show. But the option to always show action bars doesn't seem to exist. Let's leave that here. Let's put this up here and let's get going. Alright, that's level 2, and a few more quests have opened up for us here. Let's have a look. Uh, we want to use our Arcane Torrent ability on the Mana Worms and return. We could probably run out and do that really quick. He only needs us to do it one time. There we go. Oh, that did put us in combat. Let's finish him off. We need to collect six arcane slivers from any creatures that use mana, so, you know, that's a lot of options for us. We need to collect eight lynx collars from the lynxes. And then we need to take a look at our warlock trainer. train our level 2 stuff. We could summon our imp and we could immolate, or at least we could do those things. We could do them. We, we would have to have a little bit more money first. So we'll, we'll come back to that in a second. 
Immolate burns the enemy for 8 fire damage, then an additional 20 fire damage over 15 seconds. And Well Watcher Selanian wants us to gather up his misplaced belongings and uh, talk to the Shrine of Dothramar. Let's vendor the few items that we do have and see if we can afford our imp. We're still, we're still short of it. Yeah, we still don't have the money. Let's do a couple quests and we'll worry about getting it in a little bit. This is a pretty good time to level up.
we can fight the tenders for the arcane slivers, but yeah, we're going to be fighting them again later. I'll probably get most of the slivers from the mana worms that we were fighting before. We will head back here and check out the shrine. Alright, that is everything done. Let's turn it all in, we'll sell everything, and by then we should be able to afford the imp. And Magistrix Arona wants us to speak with her assistant, Lantham. He is going to have a couple of different things for us to do, including taking out the tenders. I should probably try to write a macro for our buddy's auto attack. Um, this this is a good start. No, no, that's not right. That's not what we want. So we want we want pet attack, and then we want cast immolate. Okay. Close enough. Uh, let's... Yep, we got that. Now, how did we have it written? Slash pet attack. And we'll see if that works.
so that got us level four. Let's go train our level four stuff. If we have the silver, we have three silver, which will hopefully be enough. We are looking at corruption. Oh, corruption starts as an instant cast by Wrath of the Lich King. That's awesome. In vanilla, you have to talent five talent points and to get it to be an instant cast. And then curse of weakness, we will probably never really use. Uh, let's go one, two, three. Let's test out the macro. It, it does seem to be working. Yeah, it seems to be working fine. I'm hoping that we, because we just put Immolate and not a specific rank, that as we gain ranks, it'll automatically use the newest rank of Immolate. But we'll have to we'll have to keep an eye on that to make sure that's what actually happens. Alright, he wants us to prove ourselves capable by killing seven tenders and seven feral tenders. And we actually managed to run ourselves basically out of mana. Didn't think that was going to happen prior to level 5, but uh, it's still okay because we can probably kill things just fine just with our dots and our pet attack. If we had a wand, I probably wouldn't be bothering to Shadow Bolt at all. I feel like fighting a few extra things is probably just a good idea for the additional kill XP. Keeping in mind, like, originally when these areas first came out, some of the stuff was actually aggressive. 
And then by Wrath of the Lich King, they had taken out all the aggressive enemies from the little starting islands. So it, it pays off a little bit, like early on, if you have time just to kind of fight some stuff along the way. Alright, now he wants us to go up into the academy and kill eight arcane wraiths and two tainted arcane wraiths. As well as uh, get him Felidrin's head. He is the big bad hanging out at the top of the academy. Uh, we go this way. Here we go, here's one of the Tainted Arcane Wraiths that we need. We need two of them, but we also need an item to drop off of them that begins a quest. Let's go ahead and actually begin the quest here. We need to bring the Tainted Arcane Sliver to Arcanist Helion at the gazebo. And now we can take out Philendrin. Thank you. 
Pretty sure we can jump down safely over this way. Alright, he's pretty happy with the work we've done and he wants us to go speak to Outrunner Alarion to see if she has any work for us. But first we'll go back, we'll turn in the Tainted Arcane Sliver, we'll empty our bags, and then we should be good to get going. I didn't notice this, but apparently we found a six slot bag, which is really lucky and I like it a lot. Alright, she wants us to go down the road here and find out the fate of the last courier that never made it. They never made it. Isn't the music here just absolutely gorgeous? I really do love the Blood Elf start. It's probably my favorite in the game. And now we're the messenger. <laughs> we're the messenger now. We have to get through Dawning Lane and to survive. It's funny because like I'm not sure exactly what killed her. It'd be better if there were maybe some enemies nearby to kind of make it make sense. It just seems like she fell over dead right here, which is like actually a really safe area to be. Uh, looking off to the sides of the road. Okay, over here we have some guys. Yeah, it's possible she met with an ill end here, but... It would have been like weird aggro that got her killed.
Alright, let's pick up everything. And then we'll head to the inn. Major Malfunction, he wants us to collect six arcane cores from the arcane patrollers that are nearby. They've, they've gone a little haywire, so we'll take care of them. We've got a, a wanted poster here. This novice is looking at it, but I feel like it's probably out of his level range. Bring Thalys' head to Sergeant Conran. And then the captain here has a little bit of a problem. We need to go collect some unstable mana crystals. They've, they've lost... They've lost their supply. So we're going to help them save face by recovering those for them. And we'll go ahead and make this our home. The vendor our junk. Alright, we are good to head out. Let's poke our heads into the gazebo here. We're looking for the named guy. He may or may not be up. I did see a couple of other players running around, which is good. Oh yeah, you know, we got 12 people running around. There's more people playing here in Wrath leveling up than playing Hardcore right now. So that's nice to see. He doesn't seem to be here, so some I don't see a body either, so somebody must have taken him out a little bit ago. He's probably due to respawn any minute. 
we'll kind of hang out in the area so we can keep our eyes peeled. Alright, that's it for the unstable mana crystals. And there's Stalus. He is back. And now we just need to find the remaining power cores. Alright, we are done with everything. This is probably a good time to use the Hearthstone. It is on a 30 minute cooldown in Wrath of the Lich King, so that's good. Alright, the captain wants us to travel to the West Sanctum south of Falconwing Square. Defeat any intruders present and report our findings to Lake Keeper Villania. We can do that. Uh, we kind of need to find our trainer. Maybe they're hanging out over at the inn. Life tap rank 1 converts 72 HP into 72 MP. Good, and Shadow Bolt rank 2. Let's go ahead and learn cooking.
and we'll go ahead and craft these for a minute. I, I would like to do uh, cooking, fishing, and then we'll probably do we'll probably do tailoring, and, and maybe we'll even do enchanting. Who knows? The sky's the limit. They really let you skill this up uh, quite a ways <laughs> before you actually have to go out into the world and find actual ingredients. It's a good little, good little boost, a little kickstart to our cooking. Let's head over here really quick. I think there's like a simple kill quest we can do here on the Dead Scar. Alright, Ranger Jayla wants us to slay eight plague-born pillagers.
All right, he is sending us on to speak to Lakekeeper Valania. And then we have a couple of students down here on the road, I believe. And they've been ambushed. They got ambushed and they lost one of their master's books. So now we have to go for a little dip in the river and retrieve it for them. All right, there has been a malfunction here at the West Sanctum. We need to kill five mana wraiths and five stalkers. We're also looking for a Darnassian intruder. And they're going to be night elves hanging out in stealth, so we'll have to keep our eyes peeled. Well, we missed twice with Immolate. I guess now it's kind of pointless to Immolate. Oh, they're not hanging out in stealth anymore. Uh, it turns out they took them out of stealth in Wrath of the Lich King, and now they're just kind of awkwardly here in what would otherwise be a stealth animation. Another player must have just been through here and cleared this place out because usually it's a, it's a lot more active.
All right, back to Falcon Wing Square we go. We need to hand over the incriminating documents that we looted off of the Night Elf. And now we need to go talk to the dwarf we saw, uh, because he may be an alliance spy, it turns out. Yeah, you can't trust a dwarf in the Blood Elf lands. Probably a spy. Alright, we don't need the train, we could probably stand to empty our bags. We'll come take care of this guy, and then we'll head over and we'll talk to the instructor for the two wayward students. And then it might be a good time to dip into Silvermoon if we want to pick up tailoring and enchanting. And fishing.
All right, into Silver Moon we go. I love Silver Moon. It's my, it's my favorite city in the game. The only thing a little bit weird about Silver Moon is all the giant Kalthos dolls that they've erected everywhere. <laughs> it's like I kind of get it, but they they I guess they don't know the whole story of Kalthos. Or you know, I guess at this point in time, the real story hasn't played itself out yet in Outland. So, but still, I I've always thought like all of the statues of Kalthos. Like if you're gonna have a statue to a guy, you have you have one statue. You don't put a statue on every side of every entryway everywhere. <laughs> and, and like for it to be the identical statue is also a little bit weird. So other than that, favorite city. It, it would be like if Stormwind, well, it wouldn't be. It would it would be more like if Lordaeron had statues of Arthas everywhere. Um, I don't want to make this the home. So I don't need to be here. I realize we already trained cooking. I don't have to worry about that. We need to get up to tailoring and enchanting. Enchanting is going to be all the way at the back. I'll tell you what, guys. I am going to take a break here for today. I will pick up our professions, tailoring and enchanting. And we will have those for next time. And then we'll start right back at Falcon Wing Square. And we will continue on our journey. Thank you all so much for being here today. I really do appreciate it. If you're digging the content leaving a like and subbing to the channel helped me out immensely and i appreciate those that do until next time guys take care of yourselves out there in the real world and take care of each other and we'll see you back here again very soon bye for now